cable, like when you call the company and you're having problems with And they take over. And they, yeah, they, you watch that's, them. Yeah, that's the exactly it. That's, 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 that's exactly it, yes. Machine. Yes. Wow, but you can see that happening on your... Because they want you to see it happening. If they don't want you to see it, you wouldn't see it. They have a way of controlling it. That's the point. Even they have, they have that information, yeah. let alone... I mean, like, I remember we used to give permission to SETI to use our systems at night to supposedly right. go shoot right. around the sky looking for stars or whatever. And, uh, and then eventually we took away that permission in theory. Who knows? But, I mean, that's how they were supposedly same using sort of thing. millions of individual yep. computers was to, like, it's the same numbers. It's the same idea. Well, it's, uh, our, it says firewall such as uh, Norton and Vast, et cetera. Are they any protection at all? They are, but what, what happens is that because these are software protections, any uh, malware that gets in can circumvent that. Right, exactly. So are you saying nothing helps? No. <laughs> I haven't got to the part that helps. Oh. <laughs> and we should all be looking closely at his Toshiba over here to see how he does it. No, this, this is, this is a, 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 a company machine, so none of my protections are on this machine. Okay, so let's, uh, how are we doing on time? He doesn't care what happens. This is like <laughs> so here are some uh, cyber, so uh, in, in answer to one of your questions, look at Citigroup. Uh, 200,000 names and credit card numbers were stolen in 2011. And there was recently one at uh, Zappo or Zippo, I forget, the online. Right, right. Yeah. Can you trust that they're going to give you this information promptly, or they're going to screw around with it for well, a while? Well, that's, that's a, or you, you mean, is Citibank going to give you the... Citigroup or whoever it is, once they figure out there's been a big... Once they know, they promptly, once they know, they're, 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 they're typically prompt. But they may not know for a year or two. Oh, my God. <laughs> Charming. Sometimes they, they never know. And they can be just amassing this data over many years, in effect, for some big event, for all we know. That's right. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Like, although, if it's a criminal organization, yeah. they're going to use it pretty quickly, because yeah. they don't want it to get too stale. Yeah. Okay. And cyber uh, espionage, right? and uh, talked about this uh, earlier. <coughs> Pentagon, mm -hmm. talked about it earlier. The uh, China, cybersecurity, and that's uh, protecting. Let me skip ahead. Okay, so as I suggested earlier, the, the real problem is that the machines that have been designed that we have today don't have a history of uh, being designed to protect themselves from malicious use. It was a huge effort to build these machines and to program them to do what we want them to do and to do it correctly. So the, the engineering effort involved with, in addition to getting them to do the right thing, getting them to protect themselves was not part of the equation. And because cybercrime and cyber es espionage in the early days did not exist. Yeah. So now we're left with machines that are not resilient. So much so that uh, as soon as they're corrupted, they have a tough time, as uh, we talked about earlier, reconstituting themselves. You know, coming up, or worse yet, having come under attack and subverted to continue to provide the uh, mission critical operations, which um, if it's balancing your checkbook, it's one thing. If it's controlling a ship or a plane or a fighter, and by the way, now that our systems are becoming uh, digital and wireless, uh, it's uh, already known that it's possible to commit murder over the internet. And that is, if, you, if your victim, if you know your, your intended target wears a pacemaker, 
you can be engineered so that the pacemaker will cause the heart to race and bring on death. Uh, pacemakers are read and programmed through a wireless connection. So, it's, or as, as with the case with uh, the, uh, uh, Iran, their centrifuges were, were made to go offline. So, the more digital components we have and the more that we implant in ourselves, the more susceptible we become, our cars, dryers, washing machines, television sets, especially the more wireless they are, the more susceptible with people just driving by. So if you have your wireless router at home, if you don't protect it, someone can be outside and picking up all of your traffic and can see if you, know, you have banking data and so forth. Okay. So, uh, Oh, um, I saw an article recently that there were 50, 50 uh, drones that were lost somehow. You know, we got these drones models running around the world doing we are bidding, and uh, the 50 of them have been lost. And I wonder if uh, they were lost because their uh, software is compromised. Or people it's possible. Because of these cases, like the, you know, the, Yeah, it's the possible. Well, uh, I can tell you that uh, part of the problem, and I heard a, a few people here talk about this earlier, is that, now, now this gets very technical. A lot of the chips that are used in systems are manufactured overseas. That is to say, they're designed here, but they're manufactured overseas because of economic reasons. So the chips come back, and so the question is, is the production of that chip faithful to the design? Faithful? Excuse me? Did you say faithful? Oh, faithful, faithful. Sorry about that. Okay, gotcha. Right? Has that been modified in some way? And so it's very difficult to, to test that. And in some cases, the modification is, uh, is uh, particularly insidious because there isn't any change in the logic that's inside the chip, but rather, uh, inside the chip there are traces that connect the transistors together that are inside and those traces are of a certain width and that width corresponds to the lifetime of the chip because um, and the physicists in the, in the room can uh, attest or, or argue this as current flows through these traces there is friction and the traces are worn out as current flows. So by making the traces smaller than specified, you reduce the life of the chip. So if I've made the chip for you and reduce the traces significantly, I can cut the lifetime of that chip down by three quarters so that it's, it, it only lives as long as one quarter that, that I specify. So would this be like a built-in obsolescence it, It's more like a built-in breakdown. It's a built-in breakdown. It'll right. break. So you're saying this could be like a sabotage thing or it's just looking to buy more products? Sabotage. Deliberate sabotage. So how do you prevent becoming paranoid in this world? Hmm. I guess you don't. You just well, the, the, the more you, you become know, aware, the, become the, aware the, the bigger the problem. <laughs> Yeah, the more paranoid it's you become. Paranoia. It's reality. Yeah. <laughs> well, until I walked into this room, I was fine. <laughs> well, now you know reality. So now one can go ahead and get all you know, the I, I feel, bent out of shape. I feel, I feel the same way every time I, uh, I, I have a doctor's appointment. If I don't go, <laughs> there isn't anything <laughs> wrong with me. <laughs> That's the old Well, no, it's more like Schrodinger's cat, right? Well, these are very small traces inside the chip. Well, I mean, yes. the wire. Yes. I mean, that's the function they have. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, in fact, in fact, in that fact, that's right. how, uh, if I, there's, a, there's a, uh, a mechanism by which information in your machine can be extracted even after you power down your machine. Mm 